then decided when the lights went amber and my mum was still walking across the road that he would try and drive through her, knocking her over, breaking her wrist and her ankle at the same time. <laughs> What's going on guys, welcome to today's vlog. It is Saturday the 30th of March. And I'm starting today's vlog annoyed, angry, um, pissed off, everything that you could ever think because uh, I just got a phone call which has really put the day in a bit of a dampener overall that my mother was walking across a, um, a pelican crossing, you know, with the lights on either side where the little green man comes on. She was walking across there with um, a dog, Toby, that I'm sure you've all seen, and um, the lights, the green man was on green, she walked across. And then some idiot who was parked up at the level crossing then decided when the lights went amber and my mum was still walking across the road that he would try and drive through her, knocking her over, breaking her wrist and her ankle at the same time. Um, I genuinely am, am shocked, obviously very concerned about my mum, um, I've spoken to her, she's very very shaken up, she doesn't really know what's happened, she even actually said to me that she didn't know whether she was going to go to the police or not, um, I'll get to that in a minute, but the guy got out of the car, asked if she was alright and then decided to drive off, the lady behind her in the car got out, helped my mum up, um, she put my mum in the car, she got the last three letters of the um, of the registration, the make and model of the car, a description of the lad, I think he was in his early 30s, and then she, it was just literally round the corner from where my mum lives. She was going to take my mum home, and she did take my mum in the car, but they were going to walk the dog back, and Toby, bless him, wouldn't leave my mum, so they had to put the dog in the car with my mum. Um, I'm, I'm just absolutely gobsmacked, angry obviously because this <coughs> that's done this. I mean, what what's he gained out of trying to drive through um, a crossing on Amber? How how much earlier to wherever he's going is he going to get there without endangering people's lives? And this stems back to um, Taylor, who you all know tragically died because he was run over at speed by a, another. <coughs> um. You know, fortunately, my mum has, has just has only broke her wrist and her ankle, but my mum's old and they've put her hand in a cast. She's been told she's got to go back the week after, after next, to check if it's healing properly. If it isn't, she's going to have to have surgery where they'll put maybe a bar in there or some plates and stuff because the older you get, the harder it is for stuff to heal. And I'm, I'm just mortified. Obviously, it's Mother's Day tomorrow as well, so it's not exactly the best time for her to get hurt. But when is the best time to get hurt? I don't know why I'm saying that. So we're going to go and see my mum tomorrow. I was going to go and see her today, obviously, but she says she just wants to rest and she just wants to um, just get over the shock of it, really. But that's basically how today started, which isn't good at all. It's now currently... 20 past 4 in the afternoon, we were told of this this morning, but obviously I've been running backwards and forwards, I've been speaking to some other people, both of my other older brothers know about it as well, um, but I'm the closest to her um, driving wise, I'm literally 15 minutes away from her, one of my other brothers is like an hour away from her, the other brother's like half an hour away from her, so um, it's not... It's not the uh, it's not the ideal situation, but she's obviously got me and Sarah if we need to go over there. But it's just like a double whammy because Sarah's really down at the minute. Sarah is um, really down because of baby. She doesn't know what to do with her. She because um, she's crying all the time. She doesn't know if it's if the acid reflux. As I've said, we're going to St Mary's on Tuesday after advice of the doctor. We're even thinking about taking her sooner. But that's it. Life isn't all swings and you know and roundabouts and and skipping is it it's life is the it's the ups and downs that's what comes with life and that's why nothing in these vlogs is ever sugar coated at all that's not how we are how we are as a, a family and as a couple and as people um apart from that we're just on our way over to chelsea's now to a flat we're gonna go drop off the clothes that we got for a baby and then i'm gonna have to nip over to the office later on one of the printers has Layer shifted. Basically, when it prints, it prints normally in a, in a row, and then when it gets so far, it moves to the to the right or the left or the back or forward, and it layer shifts out of the way. So it's ruined an, a 19-hour print. So again, I'm not happy about that either. So I have to go in and sort that out. I've got 11 parcels to send out today. There's loads going on. 
I just got refunded for one of the printers, the Ender 2 that sat on fire last week, so I'm going to reorder a different printer. I'm going to, I'm going to try a Tronxy, I think. We, I've, I've had a Tronxy. It's going up for sale with garbage, but since the last one that I had, they've got like a Tronxy X2 now, which is like an Ender 3. So I'm going to try the Tronxy X2. It seems to be pretty cool. There are some issues with it, but I like it when there's a few issues with it because once you get it working, it's an ideal situation. So... Without further ado, we're going to get today's vlog officially started. I've finished the back garden as well, which I'll show you later on. I've cleaned the car as well. So apart from what's happened to my mum, I'm feeling positive about the day. I'm pretty sure nothing else can go wrong. But then again, it's us. Later that same evening. All right, so we're back now from Chelsea's. I'm heading over to the office with Oscar. We didn't film much while we was at Chelsea's because, uh, well, we're still in shock about my mum, to be honest with you. So um, I fear today's going to be um, quite a short one again because of my mum. But I'm hoping to go and see her tomorrow at around maybe two, three. And I'll be able to see if she's all right then and, and sit down with her and stuff. But uh, thanks for all the, the really nice messages that we've been receiving on Twitter and Instagram and everywhere else. It means a lot to us, it really does. And I'll pass them on as well to me mum. We've also received some text messages as well from William and everybody else because obviously they can't comment on the videos so they keep messaging us on uh, Facebook and all the other socials that we've got. So I'm going to head over to the office now with Oscar. I've got quite a bit to do and then uh, I'll check in with you when we get there and I'm sure Sarah's going to check in with you as well. By sheer coincidence. Okay everyone, I thought I would check in and show my face because I wasn't in the vlog yesterday. So. As you know, I've not been feeling so good. In fact, I've been feeling so down, it is unreal. Like, it's really starting to do me head in because obviously I want to enjoy, you know, Aurora being so tiny, but it's just been a nightmare. I spent all day yesterday, like, crying my eyes out because I've just got to a point where I don't know what to do anymore. And the more worked up I get about it, the more down I get. So, Anyway, I'll talk more about that later on. On another note, Alpha has been here with me because Dave's at his office with Oscar. So he, we sneaked and made um, a biscuit, didn't we? So it's going to show you what he made. We were going to vlog him doing it, but the camera was actually saying no memory card. And then when I took it out and put it back in, it was fine. But I just assumed that there was no memory card because it was telling me there was no memory card. So anyway, I was going to show you this biscuit. So let's see biscuit, son. Ooh, that looks so good. And it looks yummy. When are you going to eat it? Tomorrow with Nella. You're going to eat it with Nella tomorrow. What have you put on it? Let's see, let's get a close up of it. Oh yeah. So what are these? Three eyes. It's oh. called the um, oh, yeah, Easter yeah. monster, in it. <laughs> yeah. Eves, I know you're licking that, thinking I'll eat that biscuit, but you're not. Look, please. I'll only have one bite. Just one bite, please. Please. No. Nope. So Eva is trying to get the biscuit. <laughs> He's holding it in his hand and she keeps jumping up to try and get it. Anyway, I'm going to tell you what I've been doing with the rest of my day, which isn't very much today. I look so worn out though. That's just the amount of crying that I think I did yesterday. I actually look so ill. I've actually just threw a bit of makeup on now because I actually didn't want to vlog today, if I'm honest. But if I just keep avoiding the camera, then we're not being real, are we? So. You, want it you cut. So, we're in Imogen and Chloe's room, but it's going to be Portia's room. And this is what we're dealing with at the minute. We have one mess. It's like a bond at the room. It does actually look like a bomb, is it, this room? I just only told her to empty a wardrobe. Mm -hmm. What did you do? In future. You look like you've actually emptied the bedroom. <coughs> so, we're painting this wall as you can see because it was pink. Now we're painting it grey. Meanwhile. Alright, so I'm over at the office now, as you've just seen. 
and Sarah. She did vlog. So basically I've got these two bad boys working now, the two Costle Delta printers. They're both working now. For some reason, this one over here, the smaller one of the two, when it's printing, or when it was printing, as it was getting around the, to the corner bit, it was like jumping up and then coming round. I mean, it's printed a piece for me while I was gone for R2. So this is one of the lower rings. So this is like, I think there's like six of these that go around in a circle because he's big. So it's getting added to the, the R2 collection to build him. It's now actually printing the hollow projector that goes on the top of him. This Delta printer, I'm not going to tell you what it's printing, but it's printing printed something pretty sweet. I'm going to keep it myself for in here. This printer here is, um, is, is, is not playing. I've just pulled this off the bed. It's, um, it doesn't want to play ball at all. I don't know if it needs leveling or not. I'm literally going to have to go in like two minutes time though because it's quarter to 12 at night. And obviously the clocks go forward as well at midnight. So at midnight, jumps an hour. If you didn't put your clocks back, do it now. If you're looking at the vlog and thinking, why is the vlog up at seven o'clock? That's why. Um, this printer down here seems to be printing all right. It's lifting in the corner a bit. It needs gluing, maybe. But most of the people don't want to know what's going on in here anyway. But those of you that do, welcome to my lair. Welcome to Star Killer Base. If you're new here, this is what I do as a job. This is my vocation in life stroke job. This is what I enjoy. This is my livelihood at the end of the day these are my babies all around me and they're like my minions like my stormtroopers they're working away constantly so we've got all the printers are basically printing now uh, a couple of them are, are playing hardball as i've just shown you i've also printed something for sarah as well uh, i'm going to show it you now so when i came over yesterday i set this off for, it was like a, it was a long long print it took like I think it was 18 hours or something, but it's like a cylindrical vase. But if you look at it, it's actually marble effect. So this is a vase, as you can see, you can see right into it. It will hold water as well, it's watertight. So she wants two of these. Uh, she doesn't know that she's got this one, so I'm gonna go and take it over for her. But pretty cool, and um, it printed this all by itself. This thing over here could probably print that twice the size of that, which is, uh, quite impressive really so we're gonna nip home now Oscar's come over with me but he's out there watching Fortnite as per usual so Oscar's gonna come home with me obviously I'm not gonna leave him here so we're gonna nip home we're gonna see what Sarah's been up to I'm gonna end the vlog and then tomorrow is Mother's Day meanwhile back in the lowlands sorry we just had to pause the music because you know you don't want to get copyright strike so uh, yeah anyway we're painting this wall I'm gonna paint this and we need to paint this little bit here that you can see near the door. That needs to go grey as well and then Imogen's been stripping this wall. This is the horrible colour that somebody had. This was the original colour of this bedroom when we moved in. No, this was the main bedroom. And it was absolutely disgusting. It was all blue. It was horrible. So anyway, that's stripped now. Well, just this cut that corner needs taking off because their flooring is being fitted on Monday evening so I'm so excited for that and I haven't really done much else today apart from oh I went to see Chelsea we went to Chelsea's flat earlier on because obviously I'm going to help her redecorate for when baby arrives so she, we've just took some stuff for her today that needs to go charity shop and then she's got like a full bedroom full of stuff that just needs to go to the tip so we're going to hopefully get that moved for her this week and then we can start the baby's nursery so that's going to be something fun to do and I actually just ordered Chelsea the baby's Moses basket last night which is absolutely adorable so I think we might wait till we've got everything and then when Chelsea say it all up then we'll do like a proper little nursery reveal um, so you can see everything that she's got in it and then I bought them clothes, I bought, I haven't bought anything else yet but there's a few things that I've seen, I know there's a changing mat that matches the Moses basket, I'm going to see if they actually do a cot set that matches as well because if they do then I'll just get the full set for that because she was saying to me today that she's looked at cot sets but she's not really found anything that she likes 
Chelsea's problem is, I know she'll be watching, she's too lazy. She can't bother looking properly. No, I'm only joking. Um, do you know that I just like know all the good places because obviously I've shot that many times. So she knows that I usually come back because she actually picked a Moses basket and I just seen this other one off by chance and it's actually by the same people that make um, Aurora's Moses basket. I think it's Claire Delon or something like that. And I just sent it on and she went, oh my God, I absolutely love it. So I said, well, I don't want to make it feel like I'm picking. So if you don't want that one, don't pick it. But if you do, then I'll buy it for you. So if you just let me know which one you want, then we'll buy it. And she said, no, I want to get that one. And the actual stand is um, blue to match it. It's not actually blue. I'm not going to tell you too much, but it's like a mixed colour. So it's, it's unisex because you can put a pink... Um, stand with it or you could put a blue stand with it so it's really cool in fact I think the bottom of it like Aurora's is pink you can get I think it comes in that bit being pink or it being blue so you can get the stand to match it but yeah so I'm looking forward to showing you that but that's not going to be for a while probably in a few weeks anyway we're going to crack on do some of this paint well Imogen's going to do a little bit of this paint because I'm going to go make myself a nice cup of tea because I feel like I've not done anything again all day Aurora has just cried again all day how much has she cried today? <laughs> I have to rock her, I have to do everything I'm literally bouncing I'm surprised I don't lose weight when I got older <laughs> it's tight though isn't it because most of the time though like she's happy and she if you've got older her but it's just like you try putting her down when she's been asleep and she just wakes up, doesn't she, straight away. Have you got any more grey paint? Because that is... That was a big change of conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I was... Never mind, Aurora. We got grey paint. <laughs> right, please don't lean on that windowsill because if you fall back through that window, I really don't. I can be dealing with crying, but I can't be dealing with a child being in a coma. <laughs> Say it as it is. This child has sat on a phone all day. No. I'm actually going to take it off her and put a hammer and a screwdriver through the phone. Mm, okay. You don't admit people. The majority of the day. You won't really do that though, would you, Mum? Because then um, you'd be smashing a phone that you still have to pay for. I'm not bothered. I can still use the SIM card. <laughs> <laughs> I'll smash the SIM card. You won't, because I'll just be order a new one, so don't get clever yeah, with me. Yeah, but you won't be able to use it. I can just order a new SIM card. Okay. It can just be said. I'm only joking. This is broke. So what have you done today, Portia? Tell me. I'm helping with Jim. Do what? Take care I, of I don't mean, like, tonight. Oh, yeah, you help her tuck, take, tuck, take. <laughs> you help to take everything upstairs, didn't you? What else? Then strip that and then move them. Yeah, but I mean, that only took you like 20, 30 minutes to do that. Yeah. So what have you done with the rest of the day? Nothing. <laughs> Sit on your phone. Yeah, we was laying bed work with before, Portia. Yeah. Was having great fun. On phone, so Well, when, when you get the room done, you, you probably will never see me out of it. I know. I, I might even live in a... <laughs> I can't wait to get my room done now. Although that will can wait because obviously I'm trying to do like four million things at once and I need to just stop. So I'm just going to show you quickly because we actually bought, I don't know if Dave's shown you, but we bought this. My camera lap batteries just started flashing. So we actually bought this for the bathroom because obviously I told you a few months ago or weeks ago that we needed a new um, mirror for the bathroom because let me just show you and then you'll understand what I mean so we've we've had this this isn't even that old actually but if you look at this it's like all corroded because of the water and it just looks like it's actually smashed but it's not but it's just gone like really dark underneath and it's a shame because it's a really nice cabinet that but it's actually gone up in price when we bought that. I think we got it for like £35 and now it's like £70 and I was just not paying 70 quid. Sorry. So, I ended up seeing this one anyway and I like this one better and this was on £30. It's a little bit smaller, I think, but 
it's still smart. Well, you still can answer my question. So this is a cabinet that we bought and I thought it'd be better because we could put a few little things in here to match the bathroom and it was meant to be £30 and went down to 25 So yeah, so we got that and then the boys have a shoe cad here which is black and it's just absolutely horrible. This house is just a mess. I've literally not been able to do anything. Just check this out. So this is washing that needs putting away and toys that need to take up. This needs to go back to my studio. The boys have just got homework out and left it all over the stairs. So this is the joys of having a baby that cries. I'm literally not getting to do absolutely anything. So I'm doing it now. Or trying to. So I've ended up having to like do everything at night time because I'm just not getting no time in the day to do it. And I think I put one wash in. I've not even got on top of the uniforms by now. I've usually got, had the uniforms washed and hung up. But never mind. It's just one of them things, isn't it? But it does get you down, you know, because like, like we always say, we don't always get the same baby. And unfortunately, Aurora is just suffering at the minute. So it's just something that we've got to deal with. But that doesn't mean that things don't get to you and it doesn't get you down because obviously it does. It's not that she's getting me down. It's just that it takes up so much time looking after a newborn, especially when they are constantly crying and you can't get anything done, then that's all mounting up on top of your head because you're thinking, well, I've not done this, I've not done that. And the house is just like becoming a tip. And as you know, I don't like mess. So, <clears throat> and then Dave's been going to his office at night. So it feels like I'm here doing it on my own. And although Dave is doing a lot, I think when you feel that down, you still feel like you're alone and like nobody's helping you so Dave has took a lot of shit off me basically this week because I've just been so horrible not that I've been horrible to him but I feel like I'm just nasty all the time um, so I just need to kick myself up the ass and sort it out don't I anyway I'm walking around in circles and starting to look like someone else um, so I'm going to go and check back in with you, Charlotte. <laughs> From the office back with Sarah. Sarah's here, you've seen her before. This. Oh, yeah, you need to see this before I go. But I ordered this for Aurora, so it's a little summer suit. But I'm going to use this in the studio as well for Kate Flash. I've got two face on the face <laughs> with a little headband. It's so cute. Oh, I've been going crazy finding loads of little outfits for the summer. So I'll have to show you them all. So we've got quite a busy day tomorrow. I'm going to be going and pick Chelsea up. I think I'm going to go and get Liam as well. I'm not too sure. And then I'll be bringing them back. Then we'll be taking them back later on in the afternoon when we go to my mum's. So Chelsea and Leo, Liam will be here for a couple of hours. Then we'll um, go over to my mum's, obviously, because of what happened to my mum today. I'm eager to go over and see her. And it's Mother's Day as well, but it's not the best situation to go and see my mum on Mother's Day. We're being run over and some a dickhead. Um, driving off and thinking it was clever so uh, I haven't checked I checked in with her before she told me that she was just just feeling a little bit down in the dumps and stuff like that 
but apparently they've the police have been round she give a statement so I'll find out more tomorrow hopefully because they got the na the maker model of the car in the last part of the reg they will be able to pick up this buffoon and it'll obviously either lose his license have points taken off him or uh, even better I, I don't know I don't know but anything just take him off the streets because lunatics like that do not need to be around on, on the street especially with kids around and elderly people it's pathetic it really is so I am gonna end today's vlog do not forget to smash the like button subscribe if you're not already make sure you click the notification bell it does nothing make sure you leave us a comment if you can don't know when the comments are coming back vicious rumor in the next couple of weeks and we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day <laughs>